This is the solution to WEX M01. Okay, so for part uh, for part A, uh, the first uh, question is we need to figure out uh, what's the domain uh, of F. Well, it's going to be uh, it's going to be the reals because uh, f is a polynomial. So that just means that uh, there's nothing is excluded on uh, account of domain. Uh, second, we want to find the critical points of f. So there's uh, two kinds of critical points to remind you. Uh, there's the kind where uh, the derivative uh, at x is undefined uh, from a from geometry that geoma geometry point of view that means that uh, there is there's a uh, no tangent so a uh, a point can be critical be, uh, if there's no tangent uh, and then uh, another possibility is that the derivative is zero and uh, again from the point of view of geometry that means that uh, there's a horizontal tangent so there is a tangent and uh, moreover it's horizontal alright so to find the critical points uh, in any case uh, we need to find the derivative so The derivative of f, well, the derivative of x cubed over 3 is x squared. And the derivative of, uh, of that <coughs> would be, <coughs> and the derivative of uh, 6x squared is uh, 12x. And the derivative of 27x is 27. Uh, and then the derivative of 8 is just 0. Now this uh, derivative is a quadratic and it factors <coughs> as uh, x minus 3 multiplied by x minus uh, 9 and therefore uh, well in the first place uh, there are no uh, because uh, the derivative is a polynomial that means that uh, the derivative is defined everywhere, so there's no critical points of this variety. Uh, so that means that uh, all the critical points are where the derivative is zero, and this factorization clearly shows that uh, the derivative is zero exactly when x is 3 or uh, x is 9. <coughs> all right, so then uh, step three is the construction of the slope chart. So then uh, we have fences at 3 and 9. So now we'll select some uh, sample points. So 2 is in there, 4 is in here, and 10 is in here. Okay. So. Uh, Finding, figuring out uh, the sign pattern. Uh, the sign pattern, if you plug in 2, that'd be negative and negative. Uh, plugging in 4, that would be positive and negative. Uh, plugging in 10, that'd be positive and positive. Uh, so, uh, the overall sign in the leftmost region, negative and negative is positive, so that means a uh, positive slope. And uh, in the middle region, the overall sign is negative, so negative slope, and then positive slope in the rightmost region. <coughs> All right, so that's uh, that's the answer to part A. Now here's the the main idea. 
So what uh, what what a uh, the point of the question is for you to look at these two and come to the understanding that uh, oh uh, this is what uh, the chart of function f looks like and uh, you're supposed to make a function that has a chart that looks like this well there's an analogy here <clears throat> so for part b I'll draw that chart the chart that you're supposed to make structurally is uh, identical to the one that you just found with the exception that uh, this is supposed to be negative 2 and this is supposed to be 7 but uh, otherwise it's supposed to be exactly the same well here's the idea is that uh, just like there's an analogy between uh, these two charts the fact that this is the derivative is what causes that chart to uh, the one you found to look the way it looks so what uh, what we really want is that uh, the the way we can do it is we could say okay we want uh, the derivative of G to be analogous to uh, the derivative of F so specifically Uh, to make the analogy work, we'd want the derivative of g to be x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 7. Because uh, that causes the derivative to be 0 at the required places, and it also, it also uh, makes the sign of the derivative uh, be what we want. So that means that, uh, you know, simplifying this, the derivative of g would be uh, x squared and then plus 5x minus 14 that's multiplying out and collect like terms and so now to find uh, g to find g of x we want to uh, anti-differentiate that so g of x is the antiderivative of the derivative of this. So this would be the antiderivative of x squared plus 5x minus 14 dx. So that would be x cubed over 3 plus 5 halves x squared <coughs> minus 14x and, uh, you know, because we're supposed to come up with, uh, make any new function, uh, that means that we can select any, uh, any constant uh, that we want. So I'll select the constant 1, 3, 2, 6. So any constant. Because we're just supposed to come up with uh, any g uh, whatsoever. 